Welcome Scorpio, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth, Seven Energies and Energy Oracle Cards. Okay, so Scorpio, let us start with Soul Truth here for you. Okay, I like that just fell out. Okay, Soul Truth for Scorpio, please. Three cards. Those last two, I'm not too sure, but anyway, we're going to use the one that came out. Anyway, okay, okay. So, uh, first off, what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? Who can I serve today? And how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Okay, so the first one here, Scorpio, this seems action-packed. The expectations that we have, so this is about what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with the relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. Okay, so Scorpio, let's have a look expectations tell me more about this for Scorpio please mm, okay you know let me get this other card out here first So much I'm getting from this card that's come out. So I'm, yep, there we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Scorpio, you know, um, oh, sorry, the garden and the gate. Okay, so this I feel like is about being in this garden here where she's sitting there and she's kind of like, um, I feel this energy of um, being like, oh, this is boring. Like, is this all there is kind of thing? And it's a beautiful garden, right? And through the gate, even though she's not looking through the gate, it appears as though through the gate it's a lot more interesting. Um, but I feel like what's happening is she's not really grateful for what she has, where she is right now. Okay? And when she gets through the gate, it's going to be fun for a while. But then what's going to happen is it's going to get boring again right so I think it's really getting into this internal state of um of, of that gratitude right of being grateful for everything that you do have so that when you experience new things and walk through another gate you're going to be elated with what it is that you discover, right? It could be a stone on the path, right? And it's like, oh my gosh, look at the stone. I've never seen anything like it, right? Um, so yeah, tell me more about the garden and the gate for Scorpio, please. The land between, oh, I love this. So this is Awakening Genius and the land between. So I feel like there's this sort of like you're in between realities here. You know, there's there was this reality that you had over here and now you're in the in-between and you're going to a new reality, okay? So this is a chance for you to gather yourself. And I feel like in this time of gathering yourself, it's an opportunity for you to awaken the genius within you, 
because for some of you there's this external searching for everything on the outside rather than it being from the inside yeah trying to feel something and feel satisfied and feel relief or feel love um, from things externally rather than obtaining those things internally okay fifth chakra archangel gabrielle okay i feel like this is you voicing what it is you need to voice here okay um speaking your truth and standing in that without apology okay obviously delivering that in a respectful manner um But really letting that be something that you're proud of, your truth, right? Asking for your needs to be met. There is nothing wrong with that, Scorpio, and you have every right to do that. And if people can't meet those needs, um, then, you know, it's something for you to address and look at. Well, you know, well, well, well. Do I need them here? Yeah. Um, I want to say here is smoke and mirrors. Just be mindful of what it is that you're telling yourself, that it's not blurring your vision, okay, particularly about yourself, okay. Um, really watch those thoughts and the mindset that goes along with those thoughts. And, yeah, because I feel like this is not going to allow you to truly speak your truth, okay, because it could be um fogged up um by the mindset by the overthinking yeah everything twirling around in your mind okay if you can maybe get a journal um move so that you can release that energy do what you need to do in order to shift yourself okay so that you can get to the heart of the matter and speak your truth here okay a tall tale this i feel like is telling yourself stories. <sighs> well, this could be even people around you telling you stories. It could be. This could be people around you making out that things are different to what they truly are like they're better than what they really are for some reason so just be mindful of that be mindful and it could be blurring your perspective hmm this is interesting and so I kind of feel like with the fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel is maybe being honest with yourself potentially be honest with yourself okay who can I serve today? In a world lacking soul-to-soul -soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today? Scorpio, do you need you today? This could be about you being there for you, right? And having your back. Okay, listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make a soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. Yeah, that's just it. That's so true. Like it does, you know, it is such a gratifying thing to do, helping others, right? Okay, so two cards. There's one on the floor, of course. <laughs> Where else would it go? Maybe I need a bigger table. I uh, don't like how those two come out. One more, please. One more. Who can I serve today? Yep, there we go, that one. Okay, let me get this one off the floor. Okay, so Scorpio, we have, wow, it's really a lot of chakra work here. Um, we've got the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So this is that, that sacral chakra, right? So that may very well need healing. We also have the third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. Um, 
and so actually I feel like there's a lot of anxiety here so coming into your heart by serving others is going to be perfect for you um, to focus put your focus elsewhere okay but tell me more about second chakra for Scorpio please what else do we need to know about this a merry motive you see this there's something stifling you here i feel there's something stifling you and holding you down whether it's this mindset or you know there's these porkies that maybe people are spinning um potentially um we also have quietening the mind. So in order for you to see things clearly, in order for you to let yourself sh rise and shine, this is important for you to quieten that mind. This could be this mindset telling you a whole load of puppies, right? So be aware of that, Scorpio. And every time it starts, just tell it, take a seat. Take a seat back there, thanks. Let's go sit down. Anyway, third chakra. Let's have a look. Tell me more about this. Scorpio. Third chakra for Scorpio, please. Tell me more about this. There we go. Two cards. What are these? Close encounters and great big love, which is interesting because as I was shuffling, I noticed the um the heart chakra here like this here when you get this spinning really well get some reiki done for yourself um scorpio if you can um this is going to help the the heart chakra to also open up okay from past hurts all right the close encounters here this is about you releasing releasing yourself okay because there's this transformation um that by Clearing these chakras, uh, creating this transformation. But the thing is, you can have that transformation but still hold yourself back, okay, and keep yourself caged in. This could be other people caging you in. It could be yourself. It could be both, okay? So this is something that's important to do because there is this great big love here that is ready to take off, okay? And I feel like this here is a love for yourself. Okay, so in that regard, do that, right? Do that because this these chakras are about you. This is why I'm saying this. It's been more about yourself because these chakras are about you. This, this I feel, is about you, okay? And being completely and utterly honest with yourself about what is impacting your life in a negative way, okay? It could be from external it could be from internal, but as right from the beginning, right, the external here, there's, you know, when you look at things you can control and what you can't control, right, everything within you, you can control, you can control your thoughts, you can control your emotions, you can control your actions, the things outside of you that you can't control are other people's thoughts, other people's actions, and other people's emotions, Okay, so try to remember that, Scorpio. Okay, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Okay, okay, great. This is great. Okay, so if your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Hallelujah, Scorpio. Yes, so today's soul action. and Do this every day if you can. Choose one self-care action to do today. So come back every day and do another one and do another one and just keep doing that every single day, right? Okay, number one, set stronger boundaries. Number two, meditate and listen to your heart. Yes, and see the heart glowing there. Okay, three, speak to yourself with compassion just like you would to someone else who's telling you things about their life. Be compassionate with yourself. Be loving with yourself, Scorpio. Okay, number four, focus on your strengths. Five, say no to something that isn't a soul. Yes. Mm. So it's kind of like that obligatory thing, right? Okay, so seven, 
Let go of what you cannot control. 8. Stay far away from drama and negativity. 9. Ask for help and allow it. Yes, allow it. 10. Write down three things you are grateful for. You know, and that could be outside of yourself, and then maybe three things that you're grateful for, for about yourself, right? Okay, so let's have a look. Tell me more about this. Compassion for self. Okay, so here we go, Scorpio, sixth chakra now. Okay, this is the third eye. This is you connecting in, and I feel like all this clearing is going to activate this third eye or at least clear the debris, okay, that is stopping you from seeing, right, with that third eye and awaken that genius within you here. Okay, so tell me more about the sixth chakra, please. Tell me more about this. One more card for the sixth chakra. Thank you. Archangel Metatron it is too. Did I say that? I don't know. But anyway. Uncharted Sea, yeah, see, this is opening you up to travel the Uncharted Sea, which can be, um, it can appear scary, but it depends on the way you want to look at it, right? If you want to see it as scary, and I don't know, it's the unknown and that's scary, it's going to be that way. If you see it as an adventure and, oh, what's it's going to bring, then it's going to be that way too, right? Mindset, all right? Birds of a feather, because when you travel this Uncharted Sea, this takes you to those who are your people, okay, it's going to take you somewhere that you actually feel like you belong, okay, it's going to take you to your family, all right, and family doesn't always have to be blood necessarily, because this is what you yearn for, and this is what you dream of, right, it's what we all dream of. And so it's about you doing what you need to do in order to create this for yourself because it is in your power to create for yourself. Okay, tell me more about Happy Family for Scorpio, please. And what does it even look like for you? You know, this could be about being compassionate to yourself, about maybe not having that. Giving yourself the love and the tenderness From the disappointment of this not coming to fruition. Yeah. We have the power of purpose. Looking at where it is that you want to head. And making that your goal. Making it your vision. And being sure about that. And aiming for the bullseye. And we have the royal you. Wow, what a way to finish this off, the royal you. You know, the happy family, this is about you. The power of purpose, this is about you. You know, celebrating who you are, embracing that, having compassion for what it is that you grieve. And knowing that you are worthy of so much more. So much more, right? Yeah, being grateful for you, Scorpio, being grateful for you. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful royal self. See you, bye-bye.